Barlow creates another ground ball up the middle. Chufo is there, and there's one out here in the second inning. As is throwing two out of three, th so throwing two out of three pitches for strikes. Got to have 66% strikes. This season, and this pitch is hit well to left center field. Mathis, it holds up in the wet air, and he makes the grab just shy of a warning track as it's ripped the other way. It'll hold up though for Hull, and we will be off to the bottom of the second inning. Baseball and the history here that Clemson has has been so good for so long. And really, Fael Pelletier behind home plate is in that mode right now. Defense thinking about a bunt. Chufo puts it down. Evans will fire to the covering day, and it's a successful one to four sacrifice. Round ball gives Clemson the lead. Instead, it's a gapper. Deep left center field, looking up, and it's gone. The freshman strikes again. His third homer of the year gives Clemson a 3 0 lead. Yeah, fastball up and in. Daniel, that, he really did a great job. 91 mile an hour fastball executed just superbly. We talked about how key the bottom of the lineup has been as Hinderleiter does go around. Says. Pulls one to the left side where Rivera is there. Ooh. And ends the inning. We'll mention last season. Rips this one up the middle off the diving glove of Chufo. Wright gives it a look, but Pelletier able to hustle out the single. Count here with no outs in the third. This is driven well in the gap in left center as the catcher running will hold it second. Hmm. Taylor took a tumble as we see more instances of wet grass and there's two on with nobody out. Strikes. Right holding on Pelletier. Here's a double play ball instead. Naraki will go to third. Fire across the diamond and a great stop by Hinderleiter on the fielder's choice. Yeah, really nice play by Hinderleiter. One, two, the off speed, and Jones is down on strikes. Well, that's, that is just... Another snap throw to second on an overzealous David Bishop. Hold on a second, they are calling an obstruction on Cole Pepper off the overtop throw, and the inning is over. Wow. And just Man. like that, the threat extinguished as we take another look. Cole Pepper called out, and we head to the bottom half of the third next. Clemson defensively, they've been aggressive, throwing the ball. Oh, look at that. Cole Pepper, a chance with the glove to make it look easy, didn't he? <laughs> Evans not wasting any time. Creates another fly ball. This one will force English deep down the right field line to the wall, and it's off the wall. Taylor has the play in front of him, and he's thinking three. It's a stand-up triple for Will Taylor. Well, hmm. So that means if the weather was oh. perfect, oh, this one slips. My goodness. And Taylor will score before the ball even gets to Pelletier's glove. Wildcats have some bullpen action. We'll tell you about in a second as Wright fires one out to center. And Preston Martinez. Fucking, you know, in. That's well hit. Oh, Mathis, a no doubter up to the Cajun Cafe, and it's over, everybody. 5-0 Clemson. Mm. Tough on those kids to miss class. A guy that really is a really good pitcher is a guy that can pitch when he doesn't have his best stuff. Fly ball, left field line. Taylor in fair territory, lines it up. And Ingram will stay put at first. Uh, yeah, Ingram's going to go to second. And the throw out into center field. Ingram's going to take a leap. And it pays off as he goes first to third on the steal and error. Hard hit ground ball. Chufo gets the high hop. And a run scoring grounder from Culpepper puts Kansas State on the scoreboard. Coach, later. And it's the kind of thing that's going to be in the gap. Yeah, that's a thing of beauty from Day. Fading away from Mathis. Finds the wall in the Big 12 Player of the Week a few days ago. Finds his way for a two-out double and payoff pitch. Got him swinging. A key strikeout, the fifth. There it was. So again, just outside. 
pinch towards the middle for a ground ball, and Wright goes after her. He is moving, and the throw is a moot point as a pair of walks. With, with Coach, Coach, Coach Backage. Oh, way to battle back from Martinez. 2-2 two, two pitch coming. Got him swinging, Wentworth. I'll tell you what, this game has certainly felt like Kansas State has added base runners in every inning and right on cue, a leadoff hit from Lobliner. Yeah, and that ball, you know, what do you do? A one hit the other way right into the vacant spot with the shifted right and first to third goes Lobliner. So a few pitches into the... He's his job, he's, he's got, given up a bloop hit. And Ooh, that's gonna be... That's a skyscraping fly ball to right. Hall is under it. Lobliner will tag and the throw comes to second. It's yeah. a result of the score and so Kansas State able to... From down under like that. And there's another ground ball. Chufo has one play, a chance to turn two and it olays past the glove of Hinderleiter and a fielder's choice that stays in play and keeps Bishop at first. Yeah. Pop up, Hinderleiter ends the inning. Kansas State though continues to chip. Feels like five runs may not be enough here tonight and Clemson knows it as Naraki goes the other way and a four to three put out starts the half inning. The big K to get out of the inning last inning. And, yep. Ball. Ball takes high. Canarella, deep to center, ranging back Jones, he leaps up and robs him of a home run! What a grab by the southpaw! Uh, Jones, <laughs> he was able to navigate that that uh, rise in the fence there and, and just, you're right, he, he robbed him of a home run, just a tremendous play. Because they, they, they make their social life just you know, coming to uh, that, that, that Coach Bellinger is looking for. Daniel Rivera chases the first pitch. Hall runs in, fights the rain, and makes the grab for out number two. The outside corner there just missed it. And that time he didn't. Not missing anything. Three strikeouts in. Here, and they're glad to see him. This is laced out to left, and Obertop has his first hit tonight. And a leadoff single sparks the bottom of the eighth. Looked like a changeup or a hanging break. Play. We'll play ball to Culpepper. He will flip. Oh, I think the second baseman day thought Culpepper was going to keep it. He should have. Top. And look at this. The freshman delivers with a base knock to left, and the bases are loaded now for the Tigers. RBI walk for Jacob Hinderleider, and Clemson gets that first insurance run here in the eighth, and they are nowhere near done. Reach twice, not wasting any time. Culpepper's gonna come home, and a perfect throw gets the first out of the inning and cuts out the run in Chufo at home. <laughs> the year in the ACC. And another chopper. This time, Culpepper's trying to turn two. Day isn't ready. The throw is somehow held on the bag by Bishop. Boy, we've got some. So Taylor will walk and 0-2. Oh, to the backstop it goes. Hinderleiter will score without a throw, and it's 8 2. Ripped right at the shaded second baseman. Ooh. Day playing at the left side. Yeah. Side out, grounder. And the ball always finds you when you come off the bench, doesn't it? Crichton with an opportunity and a leadoff single for Bishop. Or. Might have an opportunity to check incredible innings of relief. And now back-to-back -back walks have the bases loaded with nobody out. Looking for their first tonight. Oh, and late on the heater. Only 90, Culpepper sitting off speed and he's yeah. down on strikes. Day is able to tomahawk one out to right. Station to station go the runners and the score is eight to three here in the ninth. Pop up, infield fly will be out number two. All right, we'll secure it. The 0-2, Hughes racks the strikeout 
and sets down low blinder to give Clemson their 10th win.